All right, Todd. So what you're going to do is you're going to lay your hand on the top. Yep. Don't grip it. And then lay your hand on top. It's pulsing every 1.3 seconds. So you're a criminal. You got brazen. You're trying to come onto the property. You think you, you can beat this thing. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> This is, this is not going to be a touch to anybody's fence. We're going to be standalone within the fence. It's solar powered, so we do not even connect to anyone's electrical grid at all. Gate's the only thing that we attach because we want to swing a roll with the gate in order to make sure that people can open and close it correctly. It's monitored, we maintain it, we do it as a monthly service fee, so there's no upfront cost to the system. So if it's uh, solar, I guess that means it's got a battery somewhere? It's got a battery that it's charging. So it's not always putting out 7,000 volts, is it? It is, it is yeah. So that yep. doesn't draw? That just charges it. That battery's going to hold that charge for many, many days. Yep. Okay. It's a pulsating. So, so it's a capacitor oh, discharge. Uh, yeah. Solar panel, uh, uh, the battery charges stores the capacitor, so you can, you can actually hear it. Mm. Okay. That's what it's doing right That's now. Doing Builds up, releases quickly. Builds up, releases quickly. Ah, I see. So the batteries are charged by the solar panels, and then the batteries are connected to that capacitor, which capacitor. is always charging. And so That's if, right. if the capacitor is what's doing the 7,000, what's the like? What kind of potential could those batteries put out? Is it? The battery's 12 volt battery. 12 but, volt DC battery. But it's because the capacitor just keeps charging yeah, off of that. That 12 volts goes in the capacitor and it's, and it's spun up, it's spun up in a coil. I see. And then once the capacitor gets full, it dumps that 7,000 volt. And is it some kind of computer system that's controlling it, or it is, is that board on it to let to, to show how quick you stir it up and when to discharge? So is is your guys' goal to sell this to? like end users of many warehouse yards or landscapers with uh, you know their own service areas or are you trying to sell this so, to dealers? So the beautiful thing about it is we're not trying to sell this. We're not trying to sell this as a purchase. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to own an electric fence. Right. There's liability concerns, there's maintenance concerns. How do you monitor it? So we take all that on as a company. We own the fence. Okay. So we handle all that for you. There's no upfront cost for you to install us. You just pay us a monthly service fee and we're going to continue to, to maintain it, hold the liability on the system. We're going to monitor it, make sure that it's always sure working for you. So if someone's to take a truck and hit our fence at any given time, a electricity a or a tornado, something mess up the system, we come out and we, we, we fix it as part of the monthly service. Fee. Does it matter where someone is? Like I'm in Florida, would you still would someone in Florida be able to do this? We have we have a lot of customers down in Florida, all throughout Miami. Hurricanes are very prevalent down there. So Hurricane Irma went came through. Prime really goes up during those times. But if our fence was there and it was standing, it protected all of our property. All of our customers said they didn't experience theft. And we do 48 states. I'm assuming Hawaii and Alaska. No, we have, to do no, we have those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we uh, we haven't got into uh, South, South Dakota, Dakota and Vermont. So that's the, not the 48 you normally think. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. And then I guess you guys are based out of Columbia, South Carolina. That's our headquarters. That yep. You do the manufacturing and the monitoring and all that stuff. It, what's monitoring through? Is it like a Wi Fi system? Or it's a cellular. Yes, cell. Oh, okay. yep. cell car, just like your home wall. In some remote areas, we have to have a high gain antenna. Okay. Yeah, so we have to put a bigger antenna or an amplifier on it. Right. In some places, Verizon doesn't work very. Well. You have to do mobile, so we have to do that investigation to find out what kind of card to put in. Right. Yep. And as far as our customers, anybody who's having a problem with outdoor theft. So we do some landscape places. We also do truck terminals, auto walks, you know, box tow service, anything. Yeah. There was a thousand dollars worth you go through that sitting right. I don't there. know how that I would. I couldn't control myself to get over it, to be honest. Right.